Welcome to the latest edition of Inside Carolina. I'm your host, Hannah Horn, a proud alumna of the university. In this special edition of Inside Carolina, we're gonna take you to the ceremony where the College of Engineering and Computing was recently named for the family, a prominent donor and alumnus, Alex Molina Rowley. We're gonna also sit down with the Molina Rowley family and hear their remarkable story of three generations of Gamecocks. So join us as we go Inside Carolina. Thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion in our college's history. This milestone is a testament to the collective support of many individuals. And I extend my deepest gratitude and appreciation to all of you. We are preparing students to meet our state's workforce needs, creating social mobility, and becoming an indispensable resource for attracting new industries to the Palmetto State. Today, we celebrate those achievements and look ahead to an exciting future. The University of South Carolina College of Engineering and Computing is now officially named the Molina Rowley College of Engineering and Computing. Alex Molina Rowley is providing not only the power and the possibilities of higher education, but also a very strong commitment to transforming personal success into generations of future students. What drives this college is a culture focusing on problem solving and innovation, which generates new ideas that will shape our future. Alex Molina Rowley is a 1983 graduate of the college. His father, brother, and cousins are also alumni of the College of Engineering and Computing. And Alex's stepson begins his studies here in the fall. So this is deeply personal to me and my family. This place, many times through the history of our family, has been a part of changing the arc of our family's future. Without the education, I wouldn't be here, and I would think a lot of our family wouldn't have the success that they've had. After Alex graduated from USC, he spent 35 years at Johnson Controls, serving as its CEO from 2013 until his retirement in 2017. During his stellar career, he continued to give his energy and expertise to the college and its leadership. The college needs to be deeply connected to the university and to the state economic development to make sure that we're front and center because we're competing against the world. We need to get the best students, we need to have the best faculty, we need to have the best uh, resources, and we need to provide the best education for our students so they can compete globally. There's one thing about this investment in engineering, it's almost foolproof. You cannot go wrong in investing right now in the technical resources for this college. The kids will get jobs, they'll get great jobs, they'll end up being standing up here, giving back to the university, and they'll be hiring more engineers. It, you, you can't lose. This is a no-lose proposition. And that's how I see our gift. I see our gift as an investment and an investment that can't lose. And today, that generosity continues. The Molina Rowley family gift will do what engineers do best, build. Build legacies, build opportunities, and build futures with an electrifying impact. Join us as we sit down with Alex and Kristen. Thank you so much for joining us. We so appreciate it. What are some things happening inside of the College of Engineering that make you proud and perhaps some things that we can build on? The engineering school has done a great job. And I think that it's, it's a kind of culture of getting things done and working with the students in a way that's very unique. And that you won't find in other institutions, particularly of the size of the university. Uh, they also have some specialties, things like the aerospace, program, the American McNair Center, uh, uh, a whole bunch of expertise around energy and energy applications. There's many programs that are very successful. They're just not scaled. And so I think part of what we need to do is build on what's good, make it better, make it visible, and, and help tell the world what it is that we are. How do you hope you and your family's gift will go towards those economic development initiatives in growing South Carolina and its workforce? What's really inspiring is to see that the University of South Carolina the College of Engineering and Computing already does a very good job um, getting engineers ready with the partnerships with corporations um, and just some incredible innovation that they've developed. 
I think now this is a matter of expanding on that. And it goes beyond the students. It goes beyond the faculty, the, the, you know, the cascading impact uh, in the ecosystem here, if you will, you know, in Colombia, um, and then of course uh, beyond. It's a force multiplier. Do you like where we're going? I, I think it's really fantastic. I, you know, I, I think that what we did is a start. It really is a start, but it's a, it's a good start. And we have so much support. The university itself, the board of trustees, the state of South Carolina, the alumni that have already been engaged. When you dream big, how big is that dream? Well, I don't have a problem dreaming small. That's not my problem. I think we don't realize how good we can be. I, I really do believe that. And I, I think we have an opportunity to do something incredibly special. And because it's engineering and computing, and it's so important for the United States and for the state of South Carolina, it's not only important, but it's an obligation because we are the flagship university for the state. Alex and Kristen, thank you so much for your time. On behalf of Gamecocks, both now and in the future, thank you so much for your family's gift. We are so grateful to the Molina Rowley family for their generosity that will benefit University of South Carolina students and the state of South Carolina for generations to come. Thank you again. Well, Gamecock Nation, have a remarkable summer, and we're going to see you back here for season three of Inside Carolina coming up in the fall. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to share it with friends, family, and fellow alumni. We'll see you next time, Inside Carolina.